Okay, to make the cornbread, I have the oven preheating at 425 because I am using a glass baking dish. If I was using a metal baking dish, I would have it up to 450. So to start with, I've got two cups of self-rising cornmeal, a half a cup of self-rising flour, one egg, Got three fourths cup of buttermilk, a fourth of a cup of vegetable oil, now you could, you could use avocado oil if you wanted to I'm sure, but you know this is the south and this is cornbread. <laughs> So I've got vegetable oil. And I'm going to mix this together. And I forgot to get my white milk out. And this is just whole milk. I'm just going to pour this straight in. I'll eyeball it. But it's about a, a usually takes about a half a cup. this aside and get my dish out of the oven. And the oil is hot. Now, you can use shortening in it or lard. I don't have any on hand. So we're going with all today. <laughs> Oops, I almost, almost moved that. That would have been bad. <laughs> you would have heard me cry if I took, grabbed that. Which any of you know me, probably heard me cry. I can cry if I'm happy. I can cry if I'm laughing, <laughs> sad, mad, glad, whatever. I have a lot of versions of tears. Don't, maybe not got that quite as hot as I needed it. That's it, and then you'll bake it. Okay. And we'll be back when it's done. Okay, I've got the cornbread out. It's been sitting here for just a few minutes cooling. Let me get a pot holder. Hold this and we'll cut it. Now, to 
test it you anywhere near the center I just sort of stick it in and make sure it comes out clean and that's how I go I, the time is just a reference point because everybody's ovens are different and let me go for this one here maybe I may need something besides this to get it up too much. Put some butter on it. Let's slice this in half here. Look at that. See, I tore it up trying to get it out of the pan. And let that melt some people like to put it right on top and you can rub a stick of butter over it like hold it up now let me do it like this up if, if you still have your butter in the wrapper that came in you just sort of peel the wrapper back and hold it when you first get it out it's it's best and you just let it melt I use that time to let it cool down because I can hear it still sizzling. <laughs> and that's the thing, when you get your your dish hot with the oil or your shortening or whatever in the bottom, it kind of gives it the crust on the bottom and around the edges because when you put it in the hot oil, it's just, it's kind of like what um, sears it. it. gives it the texture that you're looking for. You get a little soft and a little crunchy so there we have it and i believe i will take a little piece of this if it's not too hot a little hot still <laughs> but very good now all we need to go with this is some pintos <laughs> all right thank you